the opportunity for agents is gigantic, as we know. I think every business is going to have a, um, an AI agent that their customers can talk to in the future. Let's ask, what's the one most important AI technology to pay attention to? I would say it's agentic AI. AI agents are going to change the world. But what exactly is AI agent? You have looked online and feel confused by all the explanations. Don't worry, this video is going to make it simple for you. In this video, we're going to explain what is AI agent? What is the differences between AI agent, AI assistant, and boss? Also, how does AI agents work? Hello everyone, I'm Caroline. I spent hours studying this topic so that you don't need to waste your time. Let's get started. What is AI agent? AI means artificial intelligence, normally referred to ChatGPT, Gemini, or Meta. An agent, the word comes from the Latin word agens, which means to do, act, or make. So when you combine these two words together, that means artificial intelligence, to do or act for the user to achieve certain goals. And because of the AI component in AI agent, they show intelligence, reasoning, logic, memory, and decision-making. Now you understand what is an AI agent. So what are the differences between AI agent and what you may have already tried, which is AI assistant and bots? They all seem to be really similar to each other. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna explain that to you using real-life examples. Traditional bots are not empowered by AI. It is programmed by certain rules. For example, if you go to a cafe and you want to order a coffee from a bot, you may be able to see a menu, give you options of cappuccino, americano, or flat white, and you will be able to select your drink and the bot will show you how much it is and you pay. However, you are not able to talk to the bot using natural language, like, I feel upset today, I would like to order the most popular drink in your cafe to help me to cheer me up, would you give me a recommendation? The bot will not understand that paragraph at all. A bot, which has been around for a long time, are empowered by per se rules and not AI. What about AI assistant? AI assistant is empowered by AI, will be able to understand natural language. A good example of AI assistant will be something you already have used daily, which is ChatGPT. You are able to talk to your ChatGPT and say, find a cafe in Auckland, have a Google rating 4.5 or higher within 10 minutes drive of my home. And ChatGPT will be able to search out the internet, find options for you to choose from. Therefore, AI assistant is empowered by AI, able to retrieve information from the internet, do some reasoning, summarizing, and deep thinking. So what about AI agent? AI agent not only empowered by AI, can also take action on behalf of you in your other apps. For example, AI agent can not only find a great cafe nearby, I can also tell AI agent, I would like to have coffee with Reno next weekend. Find a available time in my Google Calendar and send out a meeting invite to Reno from my Google Calendar. And not only that, AI agent can have tracked memory and repeat a task. I can tell my AI agent, I want to have this catch up with Reno every month on the first weekend of the month. Two days before this catch up, I would like my AI agent to summarize all the latest AI news into bullet points so that I have meeting notes to discuss with Reno. If you want to know more about AI agent, Reno also made a video a few weeks back to show how he used AI agent to do grocery shopping for us. Now you know the differences between AI agent, AI assistant, and the bot. So how does AI agent work? Why is it capable to take actions on behalf of us? So if you look at this AI agent, it is actually made up of four components. The first component is the brand, which is a large language model, for example, ChatGPT. This enables the AI agent to reasoning 
and understand natural language. The second component is the tools, which is what they have on their hands. So they are able to connect it to tools like Gmail or Notion to take action in those applications. And third component is memory. You're able to set up a memory in those AI agents. So all the past conversations can be recorded. And the fourth one is the persona. We can set up an AI agent to behave in a certain way. For example, extremely professional or extremely friendly so that your AI agent can have a personality and behave consistently every time it assists you. To wrap up here, in this video, we discussed three topics. What is AI agent? AI agent is made up of two companies, AI and agent. So it is a tool that is empowered by AI and help the users to take action to do something to fulfill a purpose. The second topic is what are the differences between AI agent, AI assistant, and bot. You'll see that bot is not empowered by AI. It is empowered by simple rules. AI assistant is empowered by AI, can do reasoning, retrieve information from internet for you, but it cannot take actions. And AI agent, it is empowered by AI. It can take actions on your behalf in other applications. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel. We will make sure that we will make more helpful videos for you in the future. Thank you so much for watching today.